Maybe you guys remember last time I really got my butt kicked. I just felt like, you know, a chess player halfway into the match realizing you know, no matter what I do, in another three or five turns, I was dead. So we restarted. And, ah, uh, hello, Avard. Um, so we restarted. I restarted. And... We're doing better, but this is tough. We are facing um, a tough, tough challenge here. We're playing on the hardest difficulty level. I've inherited this save. We have Charles de Gaulle. Charles the Gaulle. How did he have? I don't mean Charles. Well, man, I wasn't even thinking about this when and starting here. You know, five star experience. <laughs> Level five accuracy, but Charles de Gaulle. How did he? Come, how did he have that name, Charles de Gaulle? You know the old three Frankish name of France was, you know, Gaulle, and then Charlemagne is Charles the Great. So Charles de Gaulle. That is just a name and a half for his role in life so okay well we are like i say facing some real hardships here um i think he's going to move back here to grab up this while we can we're about ready to give them the british their turn we've lost a rather good stuka I think that's what it was. It was an overstrength one, too. I'm just not that big a fan of overstrength units. I, I guess the devs are, but I'm not. I quite honestly, I was looking around a little bit before starting this for a, a pair of two um, slot units. Reconnaissance, yeah. I don't know, just not handy enough. So I think we're going to grab um, Panzer 3G. And we're going to deploy it down here, I think, on the road. Hey, Scooter! Now, is there anything else of any worthy single slot? Well, I can get another level bomber. That might be useful. The reconnaissance, not that it wouldn't be useful, but I... Yeah. Recon isn't really the question you know, I have. A pair of artillery pieces might have been the solution. Some more anti air. What do you guys think? Another flak gun. Go for this guy. Um, he has some strength to him. Or we have a bridging unit, not that we really need to use that, it'd just be another unit to try to... An anti-tank unit, um, that would be a little better. Two-pounder quickfire. Hmm. Hmm, any thoughts, anyone? Well... I guess, since there hasn't been any great outcry, we'll go for one of these. And yeah, we'll deploy him there, I guess. It's raining this turn, so no air movement. Oh, I didn't quite want to zoom that far out, but over here, these guys... 
Just checking for any reinforcement or movement possibilities. Okay, we've really damaged their air a lot by taking those air bases when it was raining, so they weren't able to redeploy. And they don't like that infantry unit. Okay, sunny now. This is tough, guys. Gotta handle this very carefully. I've actually played this turn a couple of times just before starting streaming today. Well, this I know I need to do. We're gonna reinforce him. He's gonna drive up this road just as fast as he can get up here. Now... This De Gaulle unit is sneaky and good. He's made sure that he's in the trees. So he's less, a lot less vulnerable to air. Don't want to forget to fully reinforce these guys. These guys are over here holding down the flank. Fairly well, actually. This is all tricky, so I'm... No, I'm saying that a lot, but it is. Okay, we're facing a couple of Matilda 2s over here. Hey, Lancer! How are you doing today? Okay, we're going to use... Do you guys think, how powerful should air be in a, we'll call this a tactical game, because this is definitely not a strategical game, in that tanks are separated from infantry, where in a strategical game they would be the same unit, it would just be panzer divisions, which have art, armor and infantry and artillery all in the same unit, so, or an infantry division, and you know, a division without tanks, but, um, so this is definitely a tactical game, but should it have, how powerful should the air unit, should I be able, to, I'm just wondering, because of Order of Battle 2, or, or well, I say Order of Battle 2, there isn't a 2 out, though they have announced a new, new DLC coming, um, order of battle you can do multiple air attacks on the same unit i just i like that but air attacks seem to be a bit weaker there relatively speaking okay you don't like it i'm just because you know obviously i have my opinions not that my opinions are correct how, you know, crushing should air be able to be on a, on a single unit? Uh, because if you can attack and then move off by one, with, you can have six, well, you have seven attacks on a single unit. Okay, we have, we will be um, coming with more air or, you know, fighter attacks here. So I'm wanting to fairly carefully we can hit here, we can hit him, hit him, just reducing so I want to escort. And I got three potential escorts here. Let's 
Hmm. I think we're going to take this turn in. Alright, they could probably take him out. So we don't need to use air here. We've got a lot of infantry around. Well... Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I'm taking a long time thinking about this. Okay. He's driven back and out. Really want to make sure this unit dies. That will allow me to come in and reoccupy here. And get back up. Given the ever-changing map scale and time frame, there's no reason why multiple attacks are not allowed. You can attack an air unit with six units, but a city with just one. Yeah, Van Bishop, that's a good good point. And you are right. Uh, you do have a lot of um, changing scales here with the game. You know, how many hexes is a city? You know, this is obviously um, a very, very big London. But sometimes we see cities not quite the size of London, but be um, four or five hexes. Or down to, you know, I don't know how big Red Hill was in 1940, but yeah. Okay, so we have that. Right. We're going to Elite Reinforce you. Hello. Banana, banana. Okay, I want to put you back to anti-air duty now that we're no longer... ...having rain. Overrun, well... I think you can stay right where you are. Okay, we're going to use the artillery on you. Yeah, no, we're not talk attacking Charles de Gaulle directly. And we're going to run back into cover behind the hills. Now you attacked... Okay. So 
so that we have attacked out here. I don't know how much I need to... Well, we'll escort both of these aircraft. Well, maybe not with him. I think he'll do it. He's not that... He's not as good a unit. I think he'll do better for the pure escort role. Yeah. Okay, so we've killed him. Well, I want to swap those two units out. Artillery that anti-tank unit. They put them back. You can move up to there. We'll elite reinforce you. Push him back and yeah, they can go to this little township. There. Okay, that might be able to hold there. I'm not sure that it will, though. I'm just talking this next turn. Now this guy here can... Yeah, we're going to try to limit Charles Gaulle's ammo and movement next turn, and he can come up here and strafe this and escort him at the same time. There we go. Didn't quite kill it, but... Reduce their artillery down. Maybe I should have just taken the tank out. Okay, well. Oh, we have two tacks on this unit. That's right, I forgot. There we go. The AA is doing good. Oh, went straight after my escort. Smart. Yeah, they can take that air base back if they really want it. push those guys back. I'm not surprised and that's a bit of problematic outcome. Remember where he is. Looks like we have the Polish Air Force here. As well.
Okay, so we can attack either unit. They surrender. Good. So two units out of play. Just one casualty. No casualties. Okay. Well, if I were to fly... Take him out like that. We can strike here with him and then fly basically back home. Way. He'll be escorted. And he'll be escorted. This guy, I'm not saying he doesn't need an escort, and well, maybe I should take down one of these bombers. Or even that fighter. Um. Oh, that tank looks like a very tempting target, and so does that. stay where they are. I think this may be needed more in this direction.
Not quite what I wanted to have happen. I was wanting to attack with him. Kill the unit fully. Close assault artillery there. You get up here. Facing a lot of counter attacks. They fell back. Very good. That allow me to bring him up to here. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. Take on that artillery up there might be useful, especially if I can withdraw after doing so. Push, oh, push him off the hill too, that's good. Now have a lot less range, though of course you can move back to the hill. Yeah. Okay, this, this is really challenging me. that good oh I should have moved that up a little bit further the a gun that is I was at least hoping the 88s would have done better against the Matildas. Okay, well, our infantry here is cut off. Our tanks aren't doing too great. to save this.
Thank you, Scooter. Do I want to move this and then move this? No, he can't. Okay. Let me think about that. Stay right there. I know the reconnaissance unit is there, so... Yeah, the AT's work is best as a um, support weapon. They definitely ha have a lack of initiative when attacking a tank, um, though sometimes defending directly against the tank, they do better. I just figured once they were able to fire, they would have been able to really rip that apart. Um, just my, I don't know if prejudice or what the right term would be. Uh, let's... Does that get him out of being encircled? Yes, that's good. Yeah, we're going to lose as much as we're going to maybe kill, but I wanted to weaken them. There we go. Now. Here we got all this mess of infantry here. They can move to this hill. I think they don't know if we'll get any benefit really out of moving up at all. He can stay here as fire support for all the units around him shoot down those bow fighters or shoot them up a bit over here we're just going to reinforce and that's it Okay, the Stuvin can go and come home. So we're going to attack him here. Okay, good. You get to come home. Let's read this very carefully. Personally, I wouldn't be happy with 
changing an 88. I wouldn't be happy charging an 88 in a Matilda. Yeah, Matildas are a bit slow. Um, if you've got a good good line of um, fire or line of sight, be able to hit them. You should be able to take out a lot of them, destroying all of its movement points. Um, damage unit is forced to retreat. Scavenger. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do here is strike you. Okay, they had to surrender. Very nice. This unit, when it, um, it um, eliminates any movement, if it wins, and so if it had to retreat, it automatically surrenders. So that's sort of the power of him. Um, okay, we're going to fire it. Well, we will move up to here. We'll fire at this guy. The reason I want to fire at him is because we're going to get an overrun here. Okay, mm. a little more damage than I liked, but all right. I think we're going to be staying on the defensive here. First, we can take them out. Then we will strafe these guys on the ground. Oh yeah, Scooter, this this is their sort of mega ultimate battle. Okay, one of the things I was informed of, and I did not know this, and I guess it's for um, public release. This is sort of the climactic battle, I, as I understand it. Again, I inherited this, and I haven't played beyond this of the invasion of England because if you remember the briefing we're at this point we're supposed to hit hard to um, disrupt any uh, attacks so that the uh, beachhead can be evacuated back to Germany or well back to France but keep the German force as well. Epson is the um, location of Slytherine so we are battling over sort of see if we can get Slytherine's headquarters here. So yeah, there is that sort of element to this game. And so I think this is meant to be a sort of, you know, boss battle type scenario. Well, I think we're just going to save our ammo here. And we're going to shift you to that hill. You, well, I guess you can just maybe, well, now let's follow you back to the hill here and then reinforce you. Which 
do have these two strategic bombers and an Adolf, Adolf Galland fighter. Okay, so that's disrupting them. We're going to come over here. Oh, we should have had him come first just because he has aiming assistance. I forget these things. There we go. Yes, hello, um, PDL War Games. This is from the 1940 uh, Axis Operations 1940 DLC. This is basically sort of the boss battle, the, the big um, ultimate battle here um, in the scenario. Of the invade of the part of if you had invaded England. Well, I think you're going to hang out here because you're supporting our flank, and they're going to save their ammo for future use. Might come in for fairly heavy use, right? Um. Hopefully they'll be in enough supply to get reinforcements and not die next turn. Yeah, they have operated. Okay. Uh-oh. Aircraft coming. Bring up a gun. Good, he escorted well. Hopefully will they shot some of them down. Salmas have to retreat. They may be safe back there. Maybe. <laughs> they moved up to get encircled. Why? Not understanding that entirely. Right. Okay. Yeah, reinforce him for sure. He's going to get two shots. So first shot, take out the fighter escorts. Second, we'll mess up these Sterling Bombers. Do our best to take these guys out. Here. Well, I 
have that set up very good for support there. That's for sure. Oh, well, yeah, should have moved these up first, but we can still do that. Overrun, well, good. This looks like our best. Um, well, I'd rather come after these guys up here. So they just got encircled. They can still retreat back to here. Not be encircled. Okay, that is good. They surrender. Okay, good. Take this flank, be able to operate a little bit more freely. Here we have a situation we can hopefully deal with the guys on the bridge and they fell back. Okay, you reinforce, and we're going to re reinforce you as well. Shot him, I figured we likely did. Where we get mass attack, 
Oh, they fell back. Well, that isn't the worst thing. We don't want to get too stretched out, but... We do want to keep hitting these guys hard. Well, you stay in the high ground. Keep on this flank. This will give us range advantage for the bait. Some of those windows seem silly, but maybe there's a purpose behind them. Okay, yeah, I can see the purpose of disrupting me and sending a massive amount of tanks at me. Okay, heroic defense level one for the Char B ones survivor. Okay. Wow, okay, we're going to have to deal with that right now. But before we do that, and I should prepare this better. Hold on just a moment. Um, right now, oh, let's, there is a sale and they did not ask me to do this or any such thing, um, but I'm really happy to promote sales on slytherin software so um like field of glory 2 is 60 percent off fantasy general 2 is 40 percent off and panzer Corps 2 the base game is 25 percent off right now so um if any of you are interested you might want to take a look around you open a different browser if you're going to do it now but um 
you might be interested to, um, to check that out to see if there's anything that you haven't bought yet. We're going to try to save these guys here. And we're going to do that by... Wrecking this unit here. Okay, which gets... Yay! We're going to come all the way back to here. Since we do have a bit of a offensive here. Well, I don't know, is this the right unit for that? At least we got him out. He's going to come to here. He's going to come to here. Let's see about what we want to move there. Now we have the AA gun, the artillery piece. Oh, we need to take that AA gun out first before we... Yeah, scooter. Yeah, no, it's um, I'm I'm quite happy at, at promoting something like that. If there's anything that you guys don't yet have that you might want, it's on a rather good sale, or many rather good sales. Okay, first take out the anti-tank gun, then take out the tanks. Boom. Then take out the artillery. Yes, that's working well. This is the, the plan is coming together. What TV series is that from? Can anybody tell me? We'll retake this. We don't get more points for it, but at least it's bad. Love it when a good plan comes together, right, guys? Right. Okay, well, what we're going to do here with this unit is see about coming over after him. Um, hey team! Great! Hello, Juno VC. He'll get two attacks. Do we want to use them on him, or is there somebody else to sort of strip from the sky? Not this turn. Yes, Dance of Death of Destruction, yes. Hello. Heck. Feppert for you. I'm not sure. I may be missing something on that. Okay. They've attacked. They've attacked there. But we can maybe take him out here with Adolf Gallon fighting there. Okay. That's going to get these guys to come down here. Hit them in the flank. The reconnaissance unit there. No great damage, but now they're constrained. They 
the little mark sixes here I like these guys it's the standard version oh no this is the upgraded version this has I guess the 15 millimeter I think it is auto cannon and the uh, BASA 7.92 millimeter machine gun the standard version had the um, 55 caliber Vickers machine gun water cooled you can tell by it has a big water cooled jacket Now, I'm being a bit dangerous, but I think I've gotten a lot of their air fighters, that is, dealt with. I think will work take the high ground they retreat these guys come here to protect the artillery now we want to come here get a second overrun there we go two overruns one turn We saved him, I think, at least for the moment we have. Remember, we still have that Charles de Gaulle unit out there somewhere. I'm still worried about that. <laughs> 